To install Exchange Server 2010, you need to first extend the schema. You can do this by using the Prepare Schema switch with the Setup command. To use this command, you need to be a member of the Schema Administrator and Enterprise Administrator groups. After the schema is extended, you can prepare the Active Directory of the organization by using the Prepare AD switch with the Setup command. Note that you need to specify the organization name with the command. You cannot change this name unless you reinstall Exchange Server in your organization. You then need to prepare the domain by using the Prepare Domain switch with the Setup command. To use the Prepare Domain switch, you need to be a member of the Domain Administrator group. You can now initiate the installation of Exchange Server 2010 by starting the Setup Wizard. Exchange Server 2010 needs you to install prerequisite components, such as .NET Framework 3.5, Windows Remote Management, and Microsoft Windows PowerShell. If these components are already installed, the wizard detects them and waits for you to initiate the installation process. The Exchange Server 2010 setup wizard guides you through the steps of installation. Exchange 2010 offers a fully localized administrative experience in many languages. Administrators can use the fully localized user interface to set up and administer Exchange 2010 in their chosen language. The default administrative language used is English. The error reporting page enables you to set error reporting on the server. It is recommended that you enable this feature before you proceed with the installation steps. You can perform two types of Exchange Server installation, typical and custom. For this demonstration, the Custom Exchange Server installation option is selected. This option allows you to install additional server roles such as Unified Messaging and Edge Transport. You then need to select the specific roles you want to install on the server. For an Exchange Server 2010 infrastructure to work, you must at least install the Mailbox, Client Access, and Hub Transport roles. The Management Tools server role is selected automatically when you select the Mailbox role option. You need to configure the client settings if you have client computers running Microsoft Office Outlook 2003 or earlier versions. In such cases, Exchange Server 2010 creates a public folder database on the Mailbox server. For this demonstration, there are no client computers that run Office Outlook. The Customer Experience Improvement page helps Microsoft to collect information to identify the Exchange features that need improvement. On the Readiness Checks page, you can view the status on various checks to determine whether Exchange Server can be installed. If the checks have completed successfully, you can start the installation process. You can view the progress of the installation of Exchange Server 2010, and when the installation is successful, you can close the wizard. This demonstration showed you how to perform a clean installation of Exchange Server 2010.